We grew up here as a furniture community and that has changed a whole lot. We lost four or five thousand jobs in this community and that's, that's really hard to, to overcome sometimes. This is a hard working community and for over a hundred years the families in Lenore and Caldwell County have developed furniture that has been shipped all over the world. I know they're struggling. I know it is really hard in this economy, in this community. We're tier one, we're one of the highest unemployment still in the state. But things are happening again in Lenore that are exciting. We're going to have people saying, what's going on in downtown Lenore? And we hope they're going to be coming here to find out. Yes, something big is happening in downtown Lenore. On a breezy morning in April, a gang of men arrived with tools and tractors to begin their work. The site of the old Blackwelder Hospital stood vacant until the Caldwell Arts Council came up with an idea, a big idea. But this is not your usual construction site. It is the beginning of an installation for public art, a giant sculpture to be created by Thomas Sayer and his team of earthcasters. Thomas Sayer is a Raleigh artist who grew up in Washington, D.C., where his father was dean of the National Cathedral. Thomas and his design firm, Clearscapes, have built public art projects all over the world. They use a process called earth casting. Looks a whole lot more like construction than the kind of 19th century image of an artist with a palette and a beret and, and all that. The, the term earth casting is using Mother Earth and in Western North Carolina is our great red orange soil that is clayey. So it's using that to make a mold by digging with backhoes and shovels and picks. And we fashion a form and then fill that void, that trench, if you will, with reinforced, fairly technical, reinforced steel uh, concrete. Uh, and then we pull it out and stand it up against Father Sky. And that's, in a nutshell, what an earth casting is. This sculpture will be 26 feet tall, round, with teeth, to look sort of like a saw. It was designed to be the scale of a North Carolina town and similar color, because all those bricks and the concrete, they came from the same iron oxide, which uh, has lived in the ground a long time. After a week of digging, they set the rebar. And after a few touch-ups, the concrete was poured. Then there was nothing to do but wait. Thomas first came to North Carolina in 1969 as a Moorhead Scholar at UNC Chapel Hill. After graduating with degrees in the arts and English, his first job was designing playground equipment for children with disabilities, which led to the national organization Push America. Uh, after college, I was in that area of Morganton, Burke County, Rutherford County. And I lived there for a decade, surrounded by all the music and Doc Watson and all that stuff that I knew very little about until I lived there. So Lenore is in that same landscape and it, and it, and it speaks to me deeply. We have a community that loves the arts here. We have sculpture pieces all along our streets. We have more sculpture for a town our size than anywhere in the United States of America. The city of Philadelphia, which has a million five hundred thousand people, has only one for every two thousand and ninety-three people. In Lenore, we have one for every three hundred and seventy-two people. You bump into sculpture here. You don't go looking for it. We have pieces in the schools. We have pieces at rec centers. We have pieces just all over the place. Anyone who has driven along Highway 321 from Hickory to Boone has probably seen a large tree sculpture by Mike Roig of Carborough, one of Lenore's signature pieces. We saw what a large piece does for the collection. It pulls people in and, and it catches them by surprise. I, I think people driving on 321 see that piece and go, wow, out of context, didn't expect to see that here. And soon there will be another very large piece in the collection, one that weighs 45,000 pounds. The sculpture cured in the ground for four weeks. Then finally, the moment of truth. 
more than 22 tons, lifted right out of the ground. Now the sculpture will be placed upright in a new park just around the block. The whole town helped with the move. Why not put a major piece of public art on a city-owned piece of land? Why not do that? The new sculpture is called Across the Grain, and it will stand to remind Caldwell residents of their timber and furniture heritage. We're going to dedicate right now this wonderful, wonderful piece of sculpture to all the citizens of Caldwell County and by extension to all of the citizens of the world who need to come here and experience this. It serves to intrigue the passerby. It serves as that unexpected moment and pleasure. It sparks discussion. It adds to an area's sense of place. And I'm already envisioning these children touching, feeling. I'm seeing their minds imagining, expanding. And that's what public art can do, frankly, in ways that other art forms can't. And Lenore deserves that place in our state as a leader in its public art. And I am so proud of what you've done here. There are evidences of all the wonderful people that worked, all of us together, digging this hole. All that is part of the piece. They latched onto this idea and fearlessly and very quickly just said, we're gonna do this. And it's hard to resist that. I've never worked in a place with as much support as in Lenore. He's honoring our community. He's saying, gosh, you people have worked hard all your lives here. Uh, you've gone through struggling times, but you've never let it beat you down. You keep coming back. And I think that's what he's saying and what he's doing for us here.